Don't mess with Tom Brady. He's the kind of player who thrives on trash talk, and it only fuels him stronger. Loud speeches don't scare him. They only motivate him. It's better not to anger Tom Brady unnecessarily. He's not the type to stay silent. This guy always knows how to respond, and there have been instances when Tom fired back at everyone who trash-talked him. The more I could create an enemy, the more I wanted to go out and kill those guys. Now, I knew I wasn't going to kill them physically, but man, if I could just, what did they say, you know, and what did they look like? Did they disrespect me at all? You know, and did that asshole say something? But before we delve into that, a little digression. Friends, we strive to find and share interesting stories from the NFL world for you. There's a lot of content ahead that we would like to create. Your best gratitude would be your subscription. Well then, let's begin. Tom Brady vs. Tyron Matthew Safety Tyron Matthew of the Kansas City Chiefs found himself on the receiving end of Tom Brady's hot hand in the Super Bowl 2021. Brady and Matthew exchanged words throughout the game, but when the quarterback found Antonio Brown for a touchdown and went to celebrate, he decided to shout in Tyran's face, who had been bothering Tom during the game. In the end, only Tyran received a flag for unsportsmanlike conduct. After the game, Matthew surprised said, I never really saw that side of Tom Brady, to be honest, but whatever, no comment, it's over with, I'm done with it. Tom Brady vs. Vaughn Miller Another story unfolded the following year when the Los Angeles Rams played a divisional round NFC against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. By the end of the third quarter, the Rams had a comfortable 24-point lead. The slightly relaxed defense, including Vaughn Miller, began some trash talk towards Tom Brady, thinking the game was already won, and they could mock the quarterback a bit. But they were mistaken. Unintentionally, the players ignited a fire in Tom Brady, who started delivering incredible plays one after another. What seemed like a one game started slipping through the fingers of the Los Angeles Rams. Tampa Bay caught up, tying the score at 27-27 in regulation. Despite the Rams ultimately winning, Von Miller said in an interview after the game that he would never joke with Tom Brady ever again. We pretty much had the advantage the whole game. And I think it was like midway through the third. I had made a play on Gronk. It was like a screen. And he tried to run outside, and I, I jumped outside to tackle him. And I was just hyped. And I was like, man, they quit. And I'm looking at the offensive line, and I'm like, they quit. I'm looking at Tom. And I and Aaron had, like, scratched his feet in the ground like he was marking his territory. And I was like, uh, trash his ass. I was like, trash his ass, AD, trash his ass. And Tom kind of looked at me and smirked. And then third down came, and it was an incomplete pass. And I was like, man, they give up. And I'm running off the field. And I look back. And Tom's going for it on fourth down. So I run back out on the field, and he converts the fourth down. And then a play after that, he scores a touchdown. And they just started coming back. And I'm looking at, I'm, I'm got my hands on my head. And I was like, see, this is why I don't talk shit in the game. Yeah, you're like, it's 27-3. How could Tom Brady ever come back from, oh, wait. <laughs> Tom Brady versus Anonymous Team. An unknown team rejected Brady's services, claiming they didn't need an aging quarterback. In the 2021 offseason, Tom Brady was actively seeking a team, meeting with interested parties. During one interview, he learned that a team initially very interested in his services suddenly changed their mind, citing concerns about his age. According to Brady, the team had been seriously considering him until the last moment. However, at one point, the management declared that they were no longer interested in his services. Tom then confronted them, asking, You're sticking with that, motherfucker? Are you serious? There was a story in free agency, one of the teams, they were interested, and all of a sudden, they weren't interested at the very end. I was sitting there thinking, you're sticking with that motherfucker? Are you serious? In retrospect, Brady remarked, looking back, I'm thinking, there's no fucking way I would have gone to that team. They said they didn't want me. I know what that means. I know what that feels like, and I'm going to fuck you up because of that. There was a story in free agency. One of the teams, they were interested, and all of a sudden, they weren't interested at the very end. I was sitting there thinking, you're sticking with that motherfucker? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Tom probably had no desire to go to that team, but now it's like, why don't you want me? Absolutely. Like, <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Sure. When I look back, I'm like, I didn't fucking way I would have went to that team. <laughs> but they said they didn't want me, and I know what that means. I know what that feels like, and I'm going to fuck you up because of that. Later, it was revealed that the anonymous team was the Las Vegas Raiders, and the player in question was Derek Carr. As we know, Tom Brady went on to win the Super Bowl that same year, while the Raiders 
had a less than stellar season. Tom Brady vs. Richard Sherman Via Statements During a game where Brady threw an interception in the second half and struggled overall, Richard Sherman sensed an opportunity to provoke his teammates. Sherman declared, he's scared, his heart is gone, it's almost gone. Best in the league! Best in the league! Best in the league, baby! He's scared, his heart is gone, it's almost gone! Hey. However, Brady staged a historic comeback in the fourth quarter, dismantling the Seahawks' defense. The Seattle offense calls rushing. The Patriots won, leaving Sherman's former confidence in tatters. Tom Brady vs. Jalen Ramsey In another lesson that one shouldn't engage in verbal sparring with Tom Brady, young quarterback Jalen Ramsey learned the hard way during the AFC Championship game between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New England Patriots. Ramsey was confident in the success of his team. Since that season, his team's defense showed an excellent level, and Ramsey himself showed that he was one of the best cornerbacks of the season. As soon as the match began, Jalen tried to get under the skin of the star quarterback. Nothing good came out of this venture for his team. Thrash Doc only provoked Brady. The Patriots won the game 24-20 and Brady had an impressive performance. He threw for 290 yards and had two touchdown passes. It turned out to be one of Ramsey's worst games in his career. Don't joke with Brady, gentlemen. And finally, a couple of lighthearted trash talks. Brady has a good sense of humor and often expresses it in his banter. Even here he's competing. Fun story, Tom Brady vs. Josh Allen An amusing trash-talking story occurred during a golf exhibition match between young quarterbacks Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen against experienced quarterbacks Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Before the event, Brady teased Allen by posting a photo on social media. In response, Allen said, well, at least he didn't dress me in his clothing brand. The banter continued on the golf course. Brady and Rodgers started strongly taking the first two holes, after which they gave the advantage and then organized a comeback and won the match with the last shot. The highlight wasn't the battle on the field, it was the friendly trash talk and banter throughout the game, with a few moments of Allen vs Brady. Josh Allen cleverly brought an exclusive golf ball featuring a photo of Tom Brady from the 2000 NFL Scouting Combine. This little thing. Oh, go. nice. Just These ones will be playing, yeah. <laughs> 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 Tom Anyone? Brady combine man, picture. That good there, man. That was, <laughs> the the picture so cool. The picture is so old that they had to like shrink it down. What kind they of couldn't use the whole thing. Ball is this? I just, That's I, encore, baby. I never heard of that. Are you playing that? Oh yeah. Oh god, I gotta check the regulation. I never heard of that. That's Play nice well, man. guys. You know, college I never heard of. Now you got golf balls I never heard of. Yeah. So. Brady humorously expressed embarrassment about the photo and even asked Elon Musk to delete it from everywhere if he buys Twitter. Brady's comeback was equally graceful. He engraved something on the golf ball, Lombardi Trophy, and asked Josh Allen if he had ever seen something like that before. On the field, after a less than stellar shot, Brady expressed disappointment, attributing it to a chubby shot. You could say Josh Allen-esque. For the day two, at that blackjack table last night. Oh, right, Brady. Looks a little heavy, gotta go. Oh, wow. All right, Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Nice shot. Safe one. Currently close. A little chunky. I call that a little Josh Allen-y. <laughs> oh, a little oh, chunky. Wow. Oh, a little so Josh allen like the outcome. They'll fix that one. Josh, you shouldn't have started joking with Tom. Tom Brady versus Mike Vrabel. On the official Tampa Bay Buccaneers YouTube channel, a show similar to the famous reality series Hard Knocks called In the Current is aired, documenting the Buccaneers' preparation for the season. In the latest episode, the focus was on joint training sessions between the Buccaneers and the Tennessee Titans. Brady took the opportunity to share his thoughts on the Titans head coach and his former teammate, Mike Vrabel. Mike is a real jerk if you get to know him better. He studied at Ohio State University. Naturally, there's nothing to love about him. Between us, there's healthy competition. Let him be fat and out of shape. In terms of physique, he let himself go so much that it's really sad, said Brady. Brable found a way to tease Brady back and seemingly praise his own past achievements. I'm glad another defense dragged Tom to the Super Bowl, responded Brable. Tom Brady vs. Peyton Manning the rivalry between Tom Brady and Peyton Manning was one of the NFL's gems for 15 years. Brady won the head-to-head -head series with a total score of 11-6, although Manning often had more playoff victories, 3-2. to 
Even though both quarterbacks have retired, they occasionally engage in playful banter. Recently, Manning appeared on Pat McAfee's show. They discussed a series of paparazzi photos capturing a shirtless Brady on his $6 million yacht. Manning, the former Colts and Broncos quarterback, jokingly positioned himself as a man of the people compared to the wealthy Brady. He's flying on Delta? Does Delta have direct flights to the Bahamas to his yacht? I recently flew Delta from Hawaii and my flight got cancelled. I had seat 36F. Does Tom get seated in 36F when he flies Delta? Manning asked. The show hosts speculated that Brady hasn't flown commercial in 10 or even 20 years. They put me by the exit row. You can stretch your legs, but the door was slightly open. I've never been so cold. And I've played in cold weather. I've been to Green Bay. I've been to New England, Manning said. Upon learning of this episode, Brady responded on social media. I'm sure the temperature on board was perfect. Peyton can't live without a roof over his head. Manning spent 14 out of 18 seasons in Indianapolis playing in a domed stadium. His frequent playoff losses were often associated with his struggles to perform in cold weather outdoors. These are the stories for today. As we've seen, after trash talk, Brady enters beast mode. Many players have realized that trash talking is fair game with anyone but Tom. For those who fail to understand this through others' experiences, they learn the truth through their own. Thanks for watching, friends. Your best gratitude is subscribing to the channel. See you in the next videos.